In an upscale suburb outside Washington, D.C., Jared Taylor runs the American Renaissance website. So this is where you run American Renaissance? Uh, this is the place, yeah. The site specializes in what many consider hate. American Renaissance is a website that is devoted to the legitimate interests of whites as a racial group. Brian Lenz is a researcher at the Southern Poverty Law Center, an organization that studies hate groups in the United States. The SPLC has tracked American Renaissance for years. It is a website, it is a, it is a journal, and they have this idea that, for example, African Americans are a, a quote, retrograde species of humanity. Uh, it, it's an ugly ideology that they espouse. Taylor began American Renaissance as a newsletter in 1990. It later morphed into a website. The internet gives this small operation a big reach. It has been a complete transformation. As a print publication, we never had more than four or 5,000 readers. But online, we get 400,000 individual computers coming to our site every month. So it has expanded our reach terrifically. White nationalist groups like American Renaissance and the newer alt-right movement rely on the internet to spread their message. I'd like to speak today on the subject of white identity. They use articles, videos, and podcasts posted online and spread through social media. Uh, it's also a place where people can adopt and radicalize themselves without having to come out of the shadows of anonymity. You, know, here's a video. you won't find swastikas or Ku Klux Klan hoods on the American Renaissance website. It's wrapped in a button-down veneer of respectability, all designed to draw people in. Taylor says it's working. You don't find uh, the Ku Klux Klan making great headways on college campuses or provoking uh, burgeoning podcast uh, or a video cast phenomena. No, it's people who are more like me. Nazis don't come anymore, uh, you know, with, a, with an armband and a swastika. That Sometimes they come with a suit and a tie. The SPLC says Internet extremism has been on the rise for the last two years. According to Taylor, the election of Donald Trump as U.S. president has breathed new life into his movement. Oh, we're going to build the wall. Don't worry about it. Trump's plans for a border wall and an immigration crackdown have been widely supported by hate groups. So when Donald Trump proposes these policies for, I believe, national rather than racial reasons, he gets support from people who think both in national terms and for those who think in racial terms. Those built by Africans. Or Taylor rejects the term hate group and refers to himself as a, quote, racial realist. He says he doesn't support violence but acknowledges that violence is always a possibility as more young white men find sites like American Renaissance. They are furious and some of them have a kind of a desire almost for vengeance. They've been told they were bad all this time. They want to get back at those people. In the United States, sites like American Renaissance are protected by free speech laws. Stopping them means pushing back against their message. And ensuring that at every turn, you call them out for what they are, which is raw racists. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Oakton, Virginia.